what we're working on today is a 1999 Honda Accord EX. It's got the 3 liter V6 in it. And what I'm doing is I'm going to pull that starter off right there. And this is a fairly easy operation. And I've kind of got everything loose so that everybody can see what's going on. But that's the starter right there. This is where the air box goes. And on this car it has some fancy cold air intake business on there. And you know, you just kind of move some of this stuff out of the way. If it had the air box, you have to take that out. Well, this one doesn't. So I can't show that. But what I will show is this water overflow tank has a little tab on it. And you need to pop this tank loose before you take all them bolts out because it's pretty stout. Feels like you're going to break the thing in half trying to get it off. So anyway, you take that off. You take out these bolts, there's one, two, three, four, five, six bolts, and then there's a 10 millimeter bolt here that holds this little bracket here, okay? Take that out, and this is how I do it. You can do it without taking all this out, but, you know, you skin your fingers and have problems. This stuff comes out in five minutes, so take this out, it's 12 millimeter. You don't have to take it out all the way because it's slotted, so take that little bracket out from the battery tray and then... The alternator has two bolts in it, okay? These two bolts. This short one goes in the top. Get this around. That short one goes in that top hole there. And the long one goes down there in the bottom. Way down there. I don't know if it's lit up, but it's down there. So anyway, it's pretty easy to get to. It's 17 millimeter. And you disconnect. It's 12 millimeter uh, nut here for the power and you've got a plug on there which in this case here the the boot just kind of fell apart it's a really old boot there so anyway get rid of that and then that sucker just comes out that's it now the problem with this alternator is is that sometimes when you hit the key it clicks and it doesn't turn over I thought it was my neutral safety switch and I messed with it and the neutral safety switch wasn't adjusted properly to begin with so but that didn't solve my problem so this little guy's got to come out I'm gonna take it and have it rebuilt and uh, and we'll get it done it's a pretty easy deal uh, this is a good time to refurbish your battery tray if your battery tray is all rotted and nasty this one's in pretty good shape but sometimes they're in pretty bad shape, nasty. So clean it up, fix it. Have a look at your lines. These are your cooling lines. If you have an oil leak or anything anywhere, the oil will destroy these hoses, okay? These hoses are pretty old on this car, but you can check them to see if they're swollen or have a weak spot, okay? These all are in pretty good shape. Pretty old car, so a lot of this has probably been replaced. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Just getting the starter sorted out. Anyway, that's it. Y'all have a good day.